Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to blast multiple genes at the same time for a single organism. What I have here is the genes 16S, cytochrome B, ND2, ND4 for the species Podarsis morales. What I'm trying to do is get the same genes that you see here for this animal, Rhinura floridana. What I need to do is select these first, go on export, documents, and then export them as a FASTA file. Let's call this P. Morales for genes. Choose desktop, export, proceed, okay. Find your file. When you open it, as you can see, it's basically the same thing for Aston Morales 16S, P. Morales Site B, P. Morales ND2, and P. Morales ND4. Next thing I'm gonna do is go on blast. You can do it either this way by clicking on here and finding your organism, Rhinura floridana, or the other way you can do is going on NCBI datasets, typing in your organism that you're interested in, browse all two genomes and select either one, or you can select both for your study. Let's go with the top one. I would like to blast Choose your file, find your file, which is right right here. Okay. I will go with more dissimilar sequences because I expect it to be a little bit dissimilar, but we're going to cover this on another video and then blast it. As you can see, it's done. Click on over here, results for. Make sure all of these are available. If not, you're gonna get an error code while you're running the next step. What I'm gonna do next is click on download all and download the XML file. We're gonna use this file. So let's rename this as Rhinura Floridana for genes. Now, if you open this file, on notepad you will realize that it has a bunch of different information that I'm not particularly interested in what I'm interested in is this first part that I know it's 16 s because it's written right here I know this first part is the Podarsis moralis and the second part is Rhinura floridana so we're gonna run a code that is basically gonna take this part And instead of putting it, putting this thing, it's gonna paste this coding sequence. And then it's gonna keep doing it for the next ones. For example, we have the cytochrome B, and this is the cytochrome B gene, and so on and so on. There's a code that I wrote on Python, and I use PyCharm for this. Let's go back, find your file on downloads, Click on properties, select the location, copy this, and then on your code, what you need to do is change the file path, then copy the full name and change it right here. Now you're gonna run this. As you can see, it gave me an error because I forgot to change these. Let's change these. Select them all again and click on right here or shift and F10 at the same time. And process finished with exit code zero, which means it was successful. Now find your file. I save my files right here. Users. PyCharm projects, output FASTA. As you can see, it, gave, it basically has the results that I'm looking for, except it says P. Morales, P. Morales, and P. Morales, but I know this is Rhinura Floridana, so I need to change the name to four genes. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is transfer these files 
our Floridana for genes. Separate sequences, keep sequences separate. And then let's rename these. Batch rename, remove the first nine characters. And it's going to look like this. Then rename them again by adding Reiner of Floridana to the start of it. Let's copy these and bring it over here. And what we have right here is the P. Morales, these genes for Podarsis Morales, and these genes for Reiner of Floridana. Let's concatenate these and concatenate these as, as well and compare them. Let's align. Quick math alignment. And as you can see, we basically downloaded the same exact genes for Rhinura Floridana by using the genes on Podarsis Morales. And then we aligned them. And this tool is particularly useful if you're working with over five genes, basically, and it saves a ton of time. The code that I use here will be included in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.